Hello everyone, I guess you hopefully you're having a wonderful day. We are back again with another PWCC Weekly Review where I go through the top 100 soccer items auction off this week. As always, if you enjoyed the video, do make sure to leave a like. Helps me, helps the channel. Would appreciate it greatly. But with that said, let's go ahead and get into it. Starting from the bottom, working our way up per usual. This week at 150 to get in the door, we have a Jamal Musiala Renaissance along with a David Beckham and Zidane from the 90s. Pop one of eight, none higher on that Zidane PSA 9. So it doesn't seem like a terrible price if you're trying to go for a good grade on that. A Tati PSA 8 for the same price at 150 A Maldini Euro 88 for PSA 9 going for 150 as well. We have an 84-85 Egypt PSA 9 Maradona going for 150 near a Panini Calciatoria of the same photo and a PSA 8 for nearly the same price. This 59, from what I could tell, was a, uh, I mean, it's not a rookie -ish in, but it's an early -ish in, and it depicts like an earlier year. I'm pretty sure this was the uh, 58 Olympics or something like that. Apologies on that. 56 Olympics is what I meant to say, just thinking it through right there. But uh, that goes for 150. Kind of a cool one. Really weird, though. I don't know why that goes for 150, because apparently it last sold for 15 maybe a week ago. Not quite sure there. We have a uh, Falcao from 82 and a PSA 9 going for 156. Player that doesn't get talked about too much, but an okay price, I guess, on an 82. Pretty good grade. A couple Pushkises here. These are both with him and Fritz Walter from the uh, 54 set they're both pretty high grade psa 8 pop 106 and none higher pop 106 and one higher so not easy to get same thing with this luis suarez from uh, 53 54 termo this is the uh, psa 8 which is pop 106 and one higher goes for 156 usually in like six and sevens these don't do that much but in an eight they typically get a, uh, a decent bit of a grading premium here we have a few panini 97 98 uh equipos de europa uh, and this is uh, a Zanetti in a 10. We have a Zidane in a 9 and then a Maldini in a 9. I guess, you know, given the prices where they're at, I, I would think that the Zidane would be a better priced one out of the lot here. Obviously, the Zanetti being a 10, but even then, I still think the uh, Zidane, price-wise at least, is probably the best one. Then we have a couple Eastern European stickers uh, scattered throughout here. I think these are the first of a couple. We probably will see more. Uh, PSA 5 here, this is a midfielder that uh, sort of like a Luka Modric type of comp in terms of uh, career arc. Not as high as Modric, but at the same time, kind of a fun one since it's uh, early 90s and not that easy to get. Same thing here for the Prozanecki. Wasn't too sure on these guys, but I had a peek into their career. And, you know, looked like pretty good players. Watched a little bit of film. I really liked the uh, the Boban character. He seemed to be a, a pretty enjoyable figure to watch. We have a Gallagher 2.5 from 1924 DC Thompson Adventure going for 162. A one of one here of a prospect going for 168. We have this Cristiano Ronaldo, the Merlin's 2003-2004, sort of the uh, cracked ice sticker. PSA 7 went for 168. Wanted to take a peek at what last PSA 7s were doing, and the last two did 192 and 117. So I guess up from the last sale, but between the last couple. We have a Baggio PSA 10 Calciatore going for 170 there from 1995. Maradona PSA 7 goes for 168. Uh, we also have a Baggio rookie here and a PSA 7 going for 180. I thought these were pretty interesting. There's a couple, I mean, a fair few examples of that Maradona 80s stuff going for nearly the price of like a Roberto Baggio rookie. I find that intriguing. I'm interested in what other people think on that. I know Baggio is sort of beaten up and has a lot of different options, but at the same time, I mean, Maradona obviously does. I think he's sort of maybe growing in terms of people that collect his whole career compared to where he was before, while Baggio's, you know, maybe stagnated a bit. Another 54, Fenric Puskas here, PSA 8.5, pop one of one, none higher. With the Baggio at 180, I did take a look at recent comps, and basically, I mean, before this, 324 last year, 174, I guess that 324 is a pretty high comp. It's around where the lowest prices were last year, so it hasn't really gone much lower in a 7. Row above that, we have a 84 Superstars Maradona, along with PSA 8 Hugo Sanchez that I looked up. That went for 180. It felt sort of low. Um, I sorted this by earliest date, I guess, to have a comparison in terms of the more recent sales. Uh, last PSA 8 did 240, so down a little bit from there. Last PSA 9 did 870, so a good discount off the 9 here. 9's obviously super hard to get for 1978. Uh, last eight before that did 400 on a fixed price so down a good bit uh, but that was why i was comparing to pre-boom just to sort of see and there really weren't that many sales from what i can find pre-boom on card ladder and usually when that's the case that's a sign that there weren't that many people grading and selling the item early on which sort of fits what we're seeing here bvg8 of hugo sanchez went for 50 pre-boom so being at 180 now i mean it's still a decent bump it's not where it was at one point but that's sort of the lay of the land 
64 Barrett and Co. Bobby Moore goes for 180 in a PSA 6. These, I don't really understand what they're doing. Some sell really high, some sell really low, even in nearly the same grade. I don't know if someone's trying to shill them. I don't know if some people just miss the auctions. I don't know. I think it looks nice, but at the end of the day, these sort of cigarette style items from the 60s, they're attainable. It's not like Bobby Moore has a rabid fan base, at least in a global perspective in soccer. Of course, within England, I'm sure there's, you know, definitely fans, but. Moving on up, we have a uh, 62 Levia Shin here and a 3.5 from the uh, San Giorgio set. Around the prices we've seen lately for these, uh, I think there was a 3 or a 4 recently in a PSA slab that did nearly the same, and this is a pop one of 2, just one higher. Um, as I mentioned in the past, I do like this set. I really like this sticker in particular. I think it looks really good with the white or the yellow background and the blue kit. Just, you know, classic. One of the more visually striking of the bunch, I would say. Then we have another 54 Pushkas here from the Cosmos set. Uh, this is a 92 Devor Sucker. Uh, from what I saw earlier looking at the 1990s guys, he actually has a, a rookie sticker at least a couple years earlier from what I understand. So this isn't like some rookie, but it's early and presumably hard to find since a lot of that Eastern European stuff generally is. 88 Maradona Calci Tori goes for 186. Another example of, you know, mid-career Maradonas and decent grades doing decent numbers. We have a pretty high price here on a PSA 9 at 78 Boniac. Not entirely sure on this player. I didn't uh, look it up prior because I didn't even really notice it. I guess this row kind of uh, passed me by. We have a Merlin's Premier Gold 99 2000 here of David Beckham PSA 8. I like the uh, look of these ones. There's an Henri that looks pretty nice as well. This goes for 200, pop 105, 9 higher. PSA 3 R9 goes for 200, which is a decent price. We'll see a higher grade here go in a bit, and we'll look at the price there. Another Maradona mid-career PSA 7. This Batistuta PSA 10 gets a pretty good premium, 204. Again, you know, I understand the PSA 10 stuff, but uh, ultimately... I think if the best the best players in the set don't have a high premium on them yet, it's probably a bit too soon, but I understand if you're a player collector and you see this stuff, you're just excited, and I, I get that. Um, Ronaldo Ageless Alchemy, kind of surprised to see this up here just because I remember seeing these pulled out of sets and didn't think much of them, and PSA 9 of Ronaldo doing 200 isn't a bad price. Um, 200 on the Speckle Refractor Neymar, 210 on this Iker Casillas Gold Refractor Auto. We have a 78 Mario Kempas PSA 8 going for 210. I was kind of surprised to see this do more than the Hugo Sanchez. Looking at the prices, 210 for the PSA 8 last four. Last year did 30. That seems really cheap, or at least a big grading premium placed on the 8. PSA 6 did 64, and then at the very bottom, we have a PSA 8 from 2019 that did 13. So while the Hugo Sanchez is up like 3 to 4x pre boom to now, this Kempas is up like 20x, which is kind of crazy. Uh, the Kempas is obviously cool because this is a World Cup winning year where he's kind of like the main star for Argentina and uh, really high grade. So I get it. It's one that I actually sort of want to look at now that, you know, I have Messi, I have, well, I'm going to have Maradona at some point, presumably in 86. And so I'd like to pair up the three. But uh, yeah, it seems like at least some people are already eyeing that up. It goes for a good premium over the last PSA to sell. Uh, we have a 78 Pele PSA going for 222. A PSA 7, Di Stefano, that goes for 222. Kind of surprising. I know it's one grade lower than the Suarez we saw earlier, but the Suarez 8 one for like 150. To think of Di Stefano, one grade higher goes for only, you know, like 50% more is, is, is pretty crazy to me. We have a 7 Village here. PSA 7 goes for 234. Pop 1 of 1, none higher. Marcus Stella, this Pele that isn't Pele, I don't think, but uh, at least it says Pele on it. Goes for 264 to PSA 6. We have a Bremer Fockering PSA 5. Pretty good grade here on a Pele Vava Yashin. Goes for 264. Uh, I've seen this sell so many times. It's a pop 1 of 4, apparently. I swear I've seen it like 8 times on PWCC in the last year. Um, but that goes for 276, I guess. Uh, next to it, 1944 Barbosa Americana PSA 2 goes for 276. Uh, I, I don't think I looked that up because honestly, you're, you're rarely ever going to find any. Most of these Americanas in the 40s, 50s for most players are like, you know, single digits pretty easily. Most of them low single digits. We have a 31 Olympiakos Andrade from the uh, 1920 Olympics going for 276 in a CSG Authentic. I was sort of eyeballing these because they were just really, really cheap going into the final day, and I was trying to get info, but I, I couldn't really find much on them. Seemed kind of cool. I mean, it's obviously like a set where you're looking back in time, so it wasn't made during the Olympics, but it is an Olympic-related set. Um, from what I could see, it seemed like only CSG graded these, which is always just kind of interesting, but uh, something to note. 
94, Raul, PSA 3 goes for 288. This was something I was hoping would like fall through the cracks maybe. Uh, it's a really low grade, but you don't see a lot of these. This is basically a, uh, a second division sticker. I accidentally clicked on it, so I guess we'll look at it. I, I wasn't planning on that, but here we are. Uh, front looks really good, uh, you know, full sticker, really good colors. I mean, three, you know, probably something on the surface. Obviously, the bottom left corner doesn't look great, but doesn't look terrible for a three. Uh, and yeah, in the back, you have second division uh, with the Real Madrid B squad. So looking at recent comps, there basically aren't any. There's a PSA 6 that sold in 2021 for 550 Relative to that, I mean, that was sort of pre-modern's booming era was like 2021, 2022. So to see a price near that, at least grade adjusted is... Uh, pretty decent obviously not that easy to find either we have a 74 fher psa 7 pele going for 288 cristiano ronaldo red ice psa 10 goes for 300 not uh, not numbered from what i can tell 2014 argentine team goes for 300 and psa 10 10s aren't easy to get in 2014 so I, I i'm guessing that gets a decent premium but i'm unsure uh this simeone no clue goes for 300 apparently um, looked up comps just because I, I was interested. Barely ever see this, and uh, apparently it sold a, a month ago for 27 bucks on a PSA 6. So, it, I don't know. <laughs> I'm guessing it just got ran up for no reason. Uh, odd that there would even be an underbidder to go that far. So, yeah, uh, kind of clueless there. R9 from the 97-98 set we've been seeing a lot of. Goes for 312 there, so a decent premium for a good player in the set, no doubt. Double the price of the Zidane that we saw earlier. Speaking of Zidane, we have an authentic here. This one is removed. You can see it off the back. It goes for 324. Pretty low price, but I mean it's authentic. Worst you're gonna get. So sort of makes sense. Uh, 78 Rumenegi World Cup PSA 8 goes for 312. I was surprised that that was the highest. I guess it is early in his career, so it sort of makes sense. But yeah, that got a pretty decent number there. Pop 103 just one higher. Um, you know, again, keep in mind uh, the Hugo Sanchez. It didn't even say what pop it was, presumably because that's not really that low to be a selling point. So you would assume with the others like the Kempes and the Rumenegi, that it's just a matter of time until they are higher pop and. You know, personally, if I were to go after them, I'd probably wait a little bit. It's still good grade, I get it, um, so I'm not disparaging it. But I, I'd want to see the pops flushed out if possible. This Maldini PSA 8 goes for 312 right there. Kind of interesting, again, you know, the Baggio 7 went for pretty cheap, which means that the Baggio would be near in line with this in an 8, maybe a little bit higher. But, you know, I find it interesting that Maldini holds up so well to Baggio. I know that they're... Two greats within an era, but typically the defenders really don't hold up that well. Proud to see two Americans holding their own here in this auction block, uh, right next to Franz Beckenbauer. We can see here that this is a pretty decent price compared to, we saw a CSG 7.5 do nearly this price last week, so the uh, PSA stickers are getting a good premium, which sort of makes sense. I mean, if you just want to mitigate fakes, I think that that's a, a good way of going about it, or at least mitigating your loss if it is fake. Um, at the end of the day, though, I mean, the 7.5 might have been a deal. I don't really know. I haven't dealt with the CSG to PSA 1970 stickers and how that fares. If they're real, then probably pretty well. If not, then, you know, obviously that's a, a whole different situation. Nonetheless, this gets 336, which seems like a decent price. Um, Pulisic here at 336. This also seems good. I've never bought one of these 2016 golds. I, I like Pulisic's rookie stuff, but this just always seems super high. I know it's gold. It's sort of color match, but it's not numbered. And, uh, yeah, I'm always surprised by how, how good it's done. I think all time that, that peaked near around 1,000, there might be a couple higher sales. But ultimately, it, its high on average was seven 800. So it, while it might be down and while Pulisic stuff in general has been beaten up, I don't think it's as bad as most people make it out to be. Um, I never really have to defend it because I, I don't even really care to most of the time. But I just thought I'd throw it in there. I mean, you know, something like that pulling 336 seems like a pretty good sale to me, and I'm not really even a buyer. Mia Ham Series 2, PSA 9 goes for 360 there for the SI for kids. Uh, we have a quad auto here from Leaf. We have a team photo Bergman PSA 8 going for 384. Pop one of three, just one higher. Then we have a Galactic PSA 8 Ronaldo. This goes for 400. I did uh, have a go at it. I've sort of flirted with Galactic from afar. I bought a few recently on eBay and I actually like it quite a bit, I would say. Um, I figured since I've been picking up some smaller ones, if I could get a Ronaldo or maybe a Messi, as we'll see later, I, I was going to take a stab at it. Uh, this one I was hoping would go cheap since it didn't have a picture on the front and was thinking that maybe that would do something for me. At the end of the day, it went near 400, and I thought that was a fair place to let it go. 
pretty good looking card though, at least in my opinion. And I, I like case hits in general, but a lot of the case hits I feel are, are still printed to a decent bit. And I think the Galactics, I mean, in 2017 certainly was an era before things got big. Ultimately, 400 was a, a decent price about what they've gone for in the past. And we'll see the Messi one for 500. So I thought that that was fair compared to the Messi. Um, we have a Heinerle Pele PSA 2 going for nearly 400. We have a Paolo Rossi Calciatore PSA 7 at 400 as well. Uh, PSA 10 Mark Van Bastian, 88 euro. Was interested in this, there were no comps on 10, so couldn't really find anything in that regard, but uh, PSA 9s did 126 and 117. Uh, I guess one did 408 in the past, but then also 200, so um, at least of recent, it's around 100, so to think that the PSA 10 got a four and a half times the PSA 9 comp isn't too bad, that's a decent multiplier. This Garincha PSA 9 goes for 444, pop one of one, then higher. I took a look at Sicker Verlog PSA 9s in general, just because there were no other Garinchas, so you can't really comp that. A Bobby Moore went for 230 here. Uh, the Mullers were doing huge numbers at one point, but these have fallen quite a bit, so I'd be interested in what they do nowadays. Uh, the same Garincha actually sold in 2022 for about 400, so it feels like a pretty strong price to me because, you know, 2022 is still kind of a big time for vintage. 2022 into 23 was really sort of the peak, but this was. Uh, this was close but yeah I mean to me it seemed a little bit high this Pele and a PSA 9 went for 2760 Pele almost always gets a huge premium so hard to comp it though so hard to really know we have a Liverpool tatty here of uh, Raisbeck or Riseback. I can't remember exactly how it's pronounced but I know it's like a you know it's a middle middling name where it's a name people talk about in vintage but it's not uh, it's not going to command the high dollars this goes for 456 some of the big players in the set in this grade probably go for you know three to four k so um, it's, it's notable, but it's not one of the big ones. Nonetheless, pop one of one, just one grade higher, decent grade goes for 456. Then we have the Galactic Messi that I was referencing earlier goes for about a hundred more than the Ronaldo. So, you know, relatively similar. I like Barca Messi stuff. I feel like at the end of the day, that's really going to be what people hone in on. You know, we talk about other kit stuff at the moment, but I think that, you know, especially like the 2016, like this kit right here, absolutely love it. Um, I don't know if it stands out to other people, but there are just certain Barca kits that really hit home. And this, for me, at least is one of them. I also like Neymar in this kit as well. I think it's just really nice to look at. We have a Tati PSA 9 Calciatore going for 480. We have a 58 Bremer Fockring PSA 2 Pele going for 480 as well. And then a second year Thierry Henry PSA 9, so really high grade there. Pop one of two, just one higher. It goes for 492. This set Meyer got a pretty good premium. I uh, I always sort of want to get a decent grade set Meyer because I have uh, a Muller and a Beckenbauer already, so it sort of makes sense just to tag him along as well since he deserves tagging along, at least in my opinion. Um, this PSA gets a really good price, so I sorted by all-time price, highest price at least in terms of sales history that we can find. Uh, some PSA 7s went for 250 ish so this seems to have gotten a pretty decent premium for the 8, which is uh, good to see. Pop one of one and ungraded higher. Mbappe Adrenaline goes for 540. We have a, another Paolo Rossi here in an 8. Uh, this, this is pretty laughable. I, I don't know what's going on here. Uh, even as a diehard USMNT guy, I'd take both of the other stickers in this row just to uh, make it clear. But uh, yeah, this gold refractor McKinney, I don't know. I don't know why it went so crazy. Maybe that's just Topps Chrome Gold and PSA 10. I, maybe that's sort of a thing. I know first year Topps Chrome has obviously been a very big thing, at least for a good bit now. And so maybe that's sort of spilling over into the other years. I don't know. Personally, I prefer the optics uh, to the Topps Chrome, but obviously everyone has their own preferences. I'm kind of blown away by that price. We have the Pele Flash to do football on PSA 4 going for 630. Then we have a Eusebio PSA 4 Valida Bank Blue Name going for 690 there. Took a look at that price. Last one went for 840, but that was with an eye appeal sticker. Uh, before that, I guess, I mean, in 2022, it was going for 750. So, you know, nearly 2022 pricing on that isn't too bad. Ultimately, this peaked at 1400, and that was only one sale. So, this is one that sort of, uh, you know, held pretty well. Maybe there's just not as much sales history to be able to make the most out of that. Pre boom, it was uh, 211, so still up a good bit. Um, there was a PSA 4 blank back that went really, really cheaper. It was SGC 4 on eBay over the week. So I was interested if this was going to go low, but this seems to have done pretty well, at least compared to what I was thinking. Then we have a 1914 Billy Meredith, WD, and HO Wills. 
PSA 6 pop one of two, none higher, goes for 690. We have a PSA 6 of the Mundo Deportivo R9 for 720. This 55 News Chronicle Duncan Edwards uh, PSA 4 pop one of one, none higher, goes for 840. Pretty rare, as you can tell there. Pop one of one from England is no joke. Uh, in terms of past comps, there's only one that I could find, and that was uh, the same exact copy that happened to have sold last year in December. So this sold for was it 1700 so this going to 800 there seems to be a nice discount psa 9 messy of the white campion mega cracks uh goes for 960 which is about where it's been lingering about that 1k mark then we have the 1982 spain world cup maradona panini sticker that goes for 960 looking back at past comps we have 960 on this one it seems like the last comp was 600 on a fixed price a couple months ago so relative to that that's a pretty good one uh before that it's 1200 last year on best offer which seems pretty high but i guess that's best offer um so never quite can compare between best offer and auction but to see that they're somewhat similar is interesting psa 7 went for 360 just not many high grades of this uh seeming to go off that often with the seven not even selling in the last year Sort of makes sense. I could see why that one seems to have hit a bottom. Uh, Vinny Jr. Purple here goes for 1100 from the treble set. We have this Alval R9. This is sort of the rarest of the early R9s from what uh, people can tell for this moment. So that goes for 1230 Pretty decent discount on most of the other ones that have sold, but it is one of the lower grades. Pop one of two, four higher. So there are a decent bit graded higher. We have a 1902 Billy Meredith from the same series that we saw earlier. SGC6. This one goes for 1260 uh, this Pele 1966 Panini Valida back in a PSA 8 goes for 1470 Look back on past sales there because don't see this that often, especially in this grade. Uh, last one sold for 1380 I think this was the same exact cert, actually, and uh, the other one sold in 2022 for 4 k So, obviously, you know, down from the peak, but in terms of the last sale to now, up, uh, you know, about 10%. Aquarella here, a PSA 2 with an IPL sticker, does 1700 We see probably one or two of these sold every week, but they seem to have stuck at that 1 to 2 to 3K range, depending on the grade. About 1,000 per grade, it seems. Um, Roberto Carlos, PSA 9, goes for 1800 Last sale on this one was actually 1300 last month, which was uh, pretty interesting, just making sure, yeah, they're different certs. Last one before that was actually also 1300 so seems to be a pretty good sale, up uh, maybe 30 40%-ish. These did have a time where they were closer to 3 to 4K, so uh, at least working their way back there a little bit. This uh, R9 was a really, really good price at 2600 So last sale here, I looked up all of them to kind of show why maybe this is the case. Uh, this goes for 2640 if we want to look for the last high grade. It was an 8 in October of last year that did 1300 so that's almost double what the last one did, which is, you know, really, really impressive. I will say, like, eBay stickers last year, you probably weren't getting a good price. You know, PWCC this year, you probably get a much better price because people are just more optimistic. PWCC seems to be a better platform to sell some of the, you know, good pre-modern and vintage stuff, at least from what I can tell. Uh, this isn't a pump for PWCC. I, I've never made any money off any of this, but I basically, just from what I can tell, I mean, eBay, it seems like things slip through the cracks while on pwcc there's more eyeballs um so i think that that ends up helping you know kind of get a decent floor on some of this um if we go back i mean basically there are no really high grade selling uh, from the beginning of last year until now so january 2023 until now there's only been two graded seven or higher that have sold and as you can tell both of them got pretty decent number this one much better than the last I like seeing it bounce back up, don't get me wrong. It does sort of worry me, though, that I don't think we've ever really found any R9 fakes, or at least how to spot them or anything, so hopefully they just... I'm praying that all these companies can just keep that under control, but uh, ultimately, who knows. Uh, 1944 Leonidas PSA 4, so this is a really good grade. There was an Authentic that sold recently. I actually looked it up, yeah, for 630 that just sold... Well, actually, I mean, it, was, it was almost half a year ago, but you get the idea. That sold for 630 so PSA 4... Um, you know, gets a pretty decent price there at 2600 Looking back at his career, basically, from what I could find out of, like, the first 10 years of items he has, this is, like, the only thing unstuck, or at least that gets a grade that would uh, sort of make you think it's unstuck. Uh, who knows? I looked at the back, and it, it definitely looks weird, but that might have just been the uh, printing of the day, so uh, hard for me to tell, at least, since I'm not too experienced in it. 2016, Kylian Mbappe sticker goes for 3 k I looked at this in terms of past sales, and, uh, yeah, I mean down 27 percent the last year there are some low sales at like 2600 2700 so 3k is up a little bit but ultimately 
hasn't really done anything good. If we go further back, it's you know going to look worse. Ultimately, if we look at the all-time pricing data, it's about where it was in December of 2020 and the summer of 2020, um, before any of the soccer booms or any of the real crazy stuff happened. So seems to be a, at least a respectable price. Pop 216, which I, I always thought it was lingering closer to 300. That's a little lower than I had anticipated. Still in soccer, if people don't really get excited about Pop 216. In other sports, it might sound really, really low, but in soccer, it's you know nothing crazy i would say um nes to psa 10 so this is from the estrellas 2002 sticker set there's this one and then there's a uh, an update set so the update set's more rare uh this one from what i can tell seems to have been graded recently this is an 84 mil cert i know the guy that graded a ton of these lately apparently that basically just by looking at gem rate the pop of these went from five in a 10 to 20 in a 10 and apparently one guy got all of them he said he went to italy and he bought a bunch from a guy and he had a ton of these but none of the update sets and he sent them all in and basically almost all of them gemmed i think he sent in 20 and like 15 of them gemmed or something crazy so to me especially in a world of fake stickers that just makes me really scared uh, or at least apprehensive even if fake stickers weren't a worry of mine, I would still be apprehensive because, you know, then let's assume this guy has 15 of them. I mean, at this price of 4K a pop almost, that's that's quite a bit of money. He's talked in the Discord about it. He said he doesn't want to flood the market and all that. But at least for me, as a potential buyer or something like this, I mean, probably not a 4K to be honest, but I would be, I would be nervous. And so... Just a warning to throw out there that, you know, maybe more of these hit, maybe they don't, but ultimately that is a risk you do have, especially in pre-modern and even more so in modern, that, you know, things will show up, especially if they haven't been graded, you know, pretty steadily uh, for a while. These actually have been, which is why it's surprising to see such a, a wave of them, especially in tens, but nonetheless, I mean, got a really high price, uh, at least from what I've sort of noticed. Looking back at past sales, this is also why I thought it was really high. The last PSA 10 did 840, and that was before someone quadrupled the pop from pop 5 to pop 20. So that seems really crazy to me that this one goes for 3840. Um, that's just crazy. I, I don't know which way to put it. I mean, it's going near all-time highs on best offers from 2022, which is when things were much crazier. So I'd be interested if it gets rerun. If not, I mean, we, we see a lot of sort of things pop in this auction. And, you know, I guess ultimately you have to see if they get relisted in the next couple of weeks. But when there's this many, it makes me think probably not. We also saw this run, which is a Billy Meredith Coke Clips. Goes for 4000 at SGC5. There was actually a comp on this before because it had sold about a year ago uh, for 4200 so $100 off for this sale. Not too crazy if you're going to sell a really, really rare and valuable pre-war soccer item to be able to just sell it a year later and basically net back your cost. Uh, it's nothing too crazy. So uh, really cool to see that. We have a PSA 8 of a record here of Garincha and Pele. This goes for $5,200, which to me, again, really high price. Um, at least, okay, well, we'll look at this here in a second. We'll look at the 8s first. Uh, this eight goes for 5,200. Last eight, which was just Pele, to be fair, I do think that the, you know, single cut Pele should be worth a good bit less than the dual item. But, I mean, 1,700 is a huge discount. Last one before that was 3,100. And then before that, I mean, an 8.5 last year went for 2,600. So a half grade lower and going double the price again is, is pretty crazy to me. Now, again, back in the day, like 2022, 2021, PSA eights were doing crazy numbers. And then they almost didn't sell, but the few that did sold really cheap. Uh, speaking of selling really cheap, a PSA 9 on Heritage just last month that did 3700 At least if this PSA 8 gets paid, you know, assuming that gets paid, this 9 looks like a, a crazy steal. Um, compared to prices before, it was, you know, seemingly a, a really good price. Um, but yeah, just generally, I, th I thought that that was a really high 8. And then we finish it off with a, uh, a final Pele here from 5859 Tupanamba. This is an in-person auto, PSA 2 Auto 10. Uh, in terms of past comps, there have been some. This actually had sold prior for 6600 on Heritage. So again, you know, seems like Heritage has some deals. Uh, now has gotten re-ran and sold for 9 k So, you know, buyer might be able to net uh, 1000 2000 in there somewhere. Before that, 12000 13000 and 34000 Keep in mind, this is a PSA 4, so a much better looking copy. But the auto, in my opinion, looks much worse. So while it is a better copy of the card itself the auto doesn't look that good i think the auto on this too was at least doable um there are shaky pele autos and so the shakier they are in my opinion just the worse they are they they almost are repulsive in a way um some of them are, are doable this seems to be one that isn't terrible 
um, but ultimately gets a pretty good price at 9k just pop one of two two higher but yeah that's going to do it for this week we'll take a look at next week and see what is going on here i haven't uh, looked into it at all yet PSA 2 titulari, so four of the Aquarella. Haven't seen one in that high of a grade run in that long, although that's really off-center just by uh, giving a peek. Monday Chromo PSA 9. We have some uh, Pele's as well. This is a pretty big Fritz Walter. It is an SGC 3, which is interesting because if you actually go and look at it, the back, I mean, that seems pretty clearly glued. Um, but I've noticed that with SGC on the Dirk Kicker set before, so I don't know if that's just what they do. I, I, I'm not quite sure. Uh, 58, Garincha, Jose, and Asente. Looking down, we have a white field level in Bappe, which is pretty cool. A uh, PSA 10, Galactic, Stargazing, Ronaldo. Mundo Deportivo, PSA 2, Ronaldo, a Stargazing, Messi. And yeah, pretty fun week overall. Nothing uh, too, too crazy for next week, but obviously, like every other week, there will be fun stuff in between. Mario Kempa's rookie. Looking forward to it. Should be a, uh, a good time, and hopefully are too. If you enjoyed the video, do make sure to leave a like. Again, anything you thought about any of the cards or my thoughts about them, would love to hear it in a comment down below. And if you want to see more videos, like this as soon as I go live make sure to subscribe but with that said hopefully you have a wonderful day and uh, peace